In this video, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff. I feel the burning sun by Crowbar. Welcome to Beholding to the Rip, the biggest base channel on YouTube. Let's get right into it. We are in B, standard tuning. So grab your axe, tune up, and let's do this. Here's riff number one, nice and slow. So very cool riff. Everything is happening on the low string. It starts with a few opens. Then we're going to bend the sixth fret up just like a quarter step. Then we go open 12 and hold the 12th fret. So far. Then we're doing hammer on pull offs from six, hammer up to seven, then pull off seven, six, open. Then the same thing, five, six, five, open. So together. Here's the whole riff. And it sounds like once in a while he'll throw in this kind of grace note hammer on from five up to seven on the third string along with the open low string. So like at the start of the riff. So cool. Here's riff number two, nice and slow. This is really neat. Starts low string, second fret. We're going to bend up a little bit, then return the bend, then go to open. Then we're going third fret on the third string, then up to the fifth fret on the second string. And it sounds like he's holding these chords. So this is like a power chord here. And it sounds like he's holding them, so he's letting both notes ring out. Then he does it again. And then every other time we're going to add the third fret on the third string and we're going to play it four times. It's 
so good. Before we get into the next riff, I'd just like to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. Your support means the world and makes all these lessons and all these tabs happen. Thank you so much. Here's riff number three, nice and slow. So it starts on the low string. We play it open a couple times, then we slide up to the 11th fret. Then we go. 7th fret on the low string, 6th on the 3rd string, then 7-6 on the low string, then 5-1 on the low string. So starting on the 7th fret, then the riff starts over. Just killer. Outro, we are going to play a variation on riff number one, essentially a little less busy. So it starts the same. And then we just go hammer on pull off uh, six, seven, six, five, six, five. Makes it even heavier. It sounds so cool. All right, let's check out the outro at full speed. But before we do, thanks for checking out the video. If you dug the lesson, I highly encourage you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This way, YouTube will show this thing to more fans of Crowbar, just like we are. And if you'd like to see a full playthrough synced along with the tabs, check out the Beholden to the Riff Patreon page.